Okay, today we're going to take a look at the uh, Connected at Sea USB Wi-Fi hotspot. Uh, this is definitely one of my favorite devices. Simple USB connectivity into your computer and then you can send your entire NMEA 0183 uh, data stream over Wi-Fi. Um, it will send the data to your smartphone or tablet uh, running applications from uh, OpenCPN on Android, uh, Imre uh, Boat Instruments on Apple iOS, and uh, Navionics on both uh, Android and Apple iOS um, and many other applications uh, using the UDP protocol but uh, these three uh, have been specifically uh, tested with the device. Um, so I use the Wi-Fi hotspot in conjunction with uh, um, both uh, QT VLM and uh, OpenCPN uh, acting as a server um, but today I will uh, I will do the demonstration on uh, OpenCPN. So like many uh, Mariners, I, I use my uh, OpenCPN in my, in my uh, cabin and uh, I take data feeds off uh, of my equipment uh, in, uh, in the cockpit. Um, so uh, before we go any further, um, so we're using OpenCPN 5.6.2 and uh, uh, a Mac Mini, uh, running Mac OS Big Sur version 11.2.3. So in a previous video, I showed you uh, how to hook up um, uh, the Connected at Sea Barometer and Air Temperature Instrument. So we're just going to follow the same procedure, and we're going to hook up. Um, uh, we're going to take an NMEA feed off uh, uh, the Raymarine system um, to get uh, our transducer measurements for uh, depth and water temperature. And we'll bring in a GPS feed, and as well, I'll hook up the um, uh, uh, standard horizon GX2200 for the uh, AIS feed. Um, so, uh, let's just actually take a look at that equipment so we're familiar with it. So, this is uh, the uh, standard horizon GX2200, uh, great piece of kit. Um, and uh, I'm running a, a Raymarine sonar chart plotter in conjunction with a course controller and an autopilot. And uh, here's the, uh, um, uh, the barometer. So uh, the Raymarine system uh, that I have is, uh, is a pretty standard setup. A couple of chart plotters have a GPS running off it on a transducer. So I can essentially uh, grab a feed off of uh, any one of these uh, pieces of equipment. I'm going to choose to uh, um, take it off the back of the course controller. There's, uh, there's four uh, uh, NMEA in, ins and outs. Um, this is uh, an NMEA in for the autopilot and uh, the actual sonar unit or multifunction display there on the back. You can see an NMEA out here. Um, so you just need to uh, um, use an NMEA to um, a USB converter. Uh, let me show you a picture of one. Come back home. So here's uh, here's an NMEA 0183 USB converter cable. So you just hook up your two uh, RS422 wires um, and uh, plug it into the uh, computer. Okay. So back in uh, in OpenCPN, I will go up to uh, Options. I always like to show the enemy debug window so I can see uh, the feeds coming in. So we had previously hooked up the Connected C Barometer and I can see the, uh, the feed coming in here. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook up the uh, Raymarine uh, L760 um, in the same fashion. So uh, again, it's a serial connection, 4800 baud, chose the uh, USB port and uh, you can said you can put control check some on or off there it's a, a rudimentary uh, error correction if, uh, if it's clicked on and there's a bad sentence it will just uh, drop the sentence which is uh, quickly replaced um, and we can leave all of this uh, uh, as it is um, and I will go uh, apply so I can see here the, uh, the depth temperature and the um, GPS sentence are coming in. So next I'm going to hook up is the uh, uh, GX2200. We'll enable that. Again, serial connection. Find the USB port in the list. Difference here is that I'm running AIS, so I have to run it at 38,400. Um, 
and the software, as I said, is a, it's a great multiplexer. You can bring in um, any speed you want. If you have a 9600 baud uh, GPS, for instance, um, it will uh, um, uh, control that entire function. So for AIS, I'm going to send it out at 38,400. Um, that's the uh, uh, um, speed for uh, for AIS. Um, and uh, I'll have control checksum on, and uh, I will just go uh, apply. Oh, and here we go. See all the uh, AI VDM messages. That's uh, that's your AIS coming in, and uh, um, I'm going to. Uh, uh, now put in the connection for uh, the, uh, the Wi-Fi hotspot. So um, it's a serial connection. Um, the uh, data port I know is A5. Um, and I'm going to do a baud rate uh, to match the IAS of 38,400. So we're outputting at 38,400. Leave the priority one. Um, uh, I will leave the... Uh, control checksum off because I have one sentence that doesn't have a control checksum on it. Um, so I'll put in my user comment here, uh, Wi-Fi. And the only difference in this setup is that we're going to use uh, output on this port. Um, so this is where you out output it to go to an autopilot or in this case an NMEA repeater over Wi-Fi. And uh, I will just go apply and see what happens. Ah, voila. So you look at the blue as an output message. So every single, um, we just go OK here. I'm just going to pause this. So every single message that's coming in um, is, is immediately being uh, sent back out over Wi-Fi. Um, so uh, we will now, um, uh, I'm going to switch over to um, uh, my, uh, my tablet, and um, we'll show you the rest of the hookup. So if we yeah, just want so we can see here um, the water temperature coming in, uh, depth temperature coming in. We have the GNS and the satellites in use, uh, UTC time, etc. So um, uh, I'll continue in a moment. Okay, we're now recording on the uh, um, Samsung smartphone. Uh, first thing we need to do is uh, um, go and get our uh, Wi-Fi connection. So I'll turn the Wi-Fi on. We'll look for the connected at C SSID or network name. Okay, there it is. So um, uh, the first time through, you will have to uh, um, enter a password. I have, in fact, uh, previously entered a password. We'll just wait till this connects. All right, there we go. So it says connected without internet. That's fine. It is, in fact, connected to the uh, Wi Fi hotspot. Go back. Um, let's open up OpenCPN. I'll wait for it to load. Okay, so um, uh, let's go over to uh, to uh, options. Let's go over to connections, and uh, let's go uh, add connection. So um, the connection will in fact be a network connection this time, and uh, we are going to use the uh, UDP uh, protocol user datagram protocol. Um, this is the IP address here. We can just leave that as it is, but we do in fact need to enter a data port. It is in this case 62100, but that will vary depending on uh, your device. And I'm going to enter a device name here as, uh, as Wi-Fi. And Wi-Fi. Um, let's go over here. I am, you can see you can put your control checksum on or off. Um, I am going to leave it off because I have one sentence I know that doesn't have a checksum and I want it to come in. Um, so yeah, leave uh, receive input on this port and uh, we're going to leave the rest at uh, default and go OK. All right, so uh, let's go to our dashboard. There we go. And uh, I have uh, uh, previously set up the dashboard to mimic the, uh, the laptop. Um, but uh, um, Let's see, uh, so there we go. Um, we've got air temperature, barometric pressure, uh, our, our GNSS clocks. Um, uh, here's our, uh, our, uh, our water temperature and, and depth and uh, our various satellites. Um, so the, the Wi-Fi greatly enhances your, uh, your uh, 
um, smartphones or tablets because you're going to get your data feed uh, off of your boat, and not just uh, what's uh, what's supplied on the uh, on the uh, on the phone or tablet. Okay, so um, I'm going to end it off there, and I think I'll do a video, uh, individual video for uh, uh, Navionics as uh, as the setup is uh, slightly different. Uh, bye for now.